Okay. Fucking. Finally, okay. What's up? Uh. Okay, north, apparently. I have to travel. Was it really pain? It was kind of. I didn't know what impulse oh. stayed my hand. Why I had so willingly allowed Cain to escape me when I had pursued him for so long. I had no reason to trust Cain after he had valued me so little. And yet, I found myself intrigued by his words. I had been too cruelly used to so gullibly play his pawn. But if this world truly had secrets to divulge, I was determined to expose them. My bad. Okay, so... I have to go to Spectral Plane, apparently. And that makes it a path to where I gotta go now. Hopefully... Hopefully the scaries are not right around the corner. There we go, some health. Uh oh. Come on. Did you just really attack me? Well, it really doesn't matter, so. Come on. You guys are gonna die, huh? Let's just take all you guys out. What are you doing? There we go. Come on. Even though that doesn't really matter. Alright. Can we get back to it? I keep forgetting everything I kind of want to talk about because... From the moment of my arrival, I have the constant and palpable sensation of being watched. Someone, it seemed, was keenly interested in my presence here. Okay. Oh, okay, so... I do have checkpoint. That, that, okay, I wasn't really even pay paying attention before. Apparently those are the look of it. This door had been sealed for centuries. I began to realize it was no mere coincidence that I found myself standing here beneath this winged figure with blue skin and cloven hands so like my own and bearing this unique key. And so it was with a sense of gravity and trepidation that I unsealed that ancient door and crossed a threshold. Oh, finally. Fucking great. Damn. Uh-oh. This is where it might get kind of tedious. I hope not. Because... There's these guys. And there's multiple of them. Apparently they do, they go down easily enough. But they don't have souls to cough up for me. Oh, and they also shoot projectiles. Here we go. What the fuck is that green shit? I really don't know what that's about. Oh, that's supposed to be my soul reaper thing, I think. I didn't even see him there. Whoa, you're an asshole. There we go. I can't see anything now. So... What do I do? I'd have to stand up here in a moment just to see what I gotta do.
Oh, I go down here. Oh! There we go. Come on. Good. There's another guy down here? Yep. These guys are dicks. No! Whoa, what the fuck? So there's two of them. No! Okay. And, ah, oh shit. Here we go. Sweet. And... I think that is the Soul Reaver thing. I can put it away, right? That'll help. Yeah. That should help a bit. Hopefully the save point is coming up very soon. And I can take a break. After I get to the save point. It's right there? Good. Shit. Finally. Uh oh. I don't like that. Cutscenes. Not always good. As I entered the chamber, I sensed that it had been sealed for hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. And while this room was clearly built when the pillars were erected, I knew that no human hand could have shaped this place, and that perhaps it had never been seen by human eyes. The surrounding murals depicted a winged race, their features so like my own, but beautiful, where mine were grotesque, and angelic, while mine were demonic. I tried to decipher these images. A great war, but with combatants like none I had ever seen. The pillars, raised by this winged race, who thus defeated their adversaries. The winged beings again, writhing in agony, apparently afflicted with the same bloodthirst I had so recently suffered. And throughout the chamber, inscribed everywhere, images of the Reaver itself. Was this what Cain had urged me to discover? I wondered. Lies, Raziel. Do not be deceived. Ah, my ancient benefactor. And I dared to hope we had parted ways forever. Your silence was refreshing, but it lasted. No doubt you have a conveniently inexpressible reason for your presence here. Do not be insolent, Raziel. I am eternally present here and everywhere, now and always. I am the still center of the turning wheel, the hub of this world's destiny. But perhaps not so omnipotent as you'd have me believe. Your hold on me appears to be tenuous. I no longer seem to need you. Yet I'm guessing you still need me. This impudence is unworthy of you, Raziel. Do not forget that you have a task to fulfill here. You are indebted to me. Indebted? You would have me show gratitude for a gift I didn't ask to be bestowed. Do you forget that you forced me to inhabit this vile carcass? I restored you to yourself, Raziel. It was Cain who destroyed you. The very enemy you've just let slip through your grasp. Do not fail me, my servant. I serve no one. Not you, not Cain, and not your lackey, Mobius. Mobius is my good servant. I have many. And if I tell Mobius that he's worshipping a giant squid, you think his faith will falter? You have grown willful, Raziel. But beware. To embrace a serpent is to invite poison into your heart. Cain is a sinuous beast. He will seduce and deceive you. You pride yourself on your free will, yet you let that degenerate deter your resolve. I harbor no illusions about his integrity, nor anyone else's. In fact, I am beset by manipulation on all sides. Merely seek the truth. These 
these are the fathomless truths, Raziel. The agony of birth and death and rebirth? This is the wheel of fate, the purified cycle which sustains all life. Vampires are an abomination, a plague which leeches this land of its spiritual strength. They obstruct the flow of life and death. Their souls stagnate in their wretched corpses. But the wheel must turn. Death is inexorable and cannot be denied. Your destiny is irresistible, Raziel. You are my soul weaver, the scourge of the vampires, reaper of their apostate souls. Remain steadfast. End the vampire's parasitic curse and restore Nazgul. Cain's blood belongs on your hands. Cain indeed deserves to die for condemning me to this repugnant form. But if and when I kill him, it will be for me alone to decide. Cain destroyed you without a flicker of remorse. He tore the soul from your noble corpse. And after you had served him faithfully for a thousand years, he discarded you in the abyss on a jealous whim. Remember your rage, Raziel. Let it guide your hand. Oh shit, finally! That means it's time to go save and take a. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I didn't even realize that was there, I guess. All right, there we go. Now I can now I now I can save. I didn't even see it there. Everything's so damn dark. It's fucking annoying. So, uh so many damn cutscenes I can't ever keep to any kind of topic at all and it already doesn't help to like commentary. It's hard to stick to a topic, so um I guess that made me realize why I wasn't too much in a rush to play this because it's so damn dark I can't even see shit I can't fucking see shit it's I couldn't even see the enemies I just see like their orbs the their shades I was fighting it's really fucking dark um I don't even think there's an option to make it brighter there's no option to make it brighter you can just change your screen for position like the video itself appears fantastic, it appears fine, it's it's not too dark, but the actual video that I'm watching, it already doesn't help, it's already displayed on a uh, screen and it looks terrible, but as dark as, oh, uh, it's fucking, I'm gonna still try to power through it, but that's really detracting from, it, it's making it more frustrating in ways than other, but anyway, uh, I should shut up here. So otherwise, I'll just easily drone on, and I gotta get ready, and I'll, I don't know, whatever. <laughs>